The thing about sales tax software is that it's kind of like a scalpel. If you know how to use it, it can be a great tool for you to effectively manage your sales tax. But unless you know how to do brain surgery with that scalpel, <laughs> sales tax is kind of like brain surgery. It's really, really complicated. Then you might end up hurting yourself your business along the way. And I certainly don't want that to happen to you. See, most of the time, people don't have the expertise that they need in order to effectively manage their sales tax using software. And that is not just speaking to like business owners, but also accountants and bookkeepers. Because if your accountant or bookkeeper has sales tax knowledge and experience, most of the time it's only going to be in your home state. And they might not have all of the experience needed in all of the other states where your company might have nexus. On top of that, there's so much more that needs to be considered. There's like legal things to consider. There's technology things to consider, how your systems are talking to each other, how the taxes are being calculated. There's so much to it and it really requires ongoing maintenance and management and upkeep to make sure that everything is being handled correctly on an ongoing basis. So there's a couple of like key areas where tax valet really shines and really stands apart from sales tax software that I just wanted to share with you in case you're looking for someone or some solution for your company's sales tax. And I think the one that our clients appreciate the most is that they get a dedicated team of experts to handle everything for them. And that is totally different from working with the software company where you are the one responsible for dealing with everything. And if you have a question, if you have a problem, you just email some like random support email and you get some random person who doesn't know you, they don't know your business, your setup, they don't know the historical stuff that's been going on, and they're just providing you with tips on how to manage things yourself using their tool. At Tax Valet, we're doing everything for you. We know your setup, we know your workflows, your systems, we know all the things that have happened in the past that might influence whatever's happening today. And we take responsibility for everything that's happening with your account. We won't make business decisions for you, we won't make tax decisions for you. That's your responsibility. But we are going to be doing literally everything we possibly can in order to eliminate the hassle and stress of sales tax. I think another big differentiator is all about the data. And people don't think about it. It's kind of like a techie thing. But all of these apps, they have these integrations, right? Like, oh, we connect with over 5,000 systems. Even then, most of our clients are selling on between five and 10 channels, sometimes more, sometimes less. And there's still going to be a channel that doesn't integrate. Or, or even if there is an integration, the data might not flow from one system over to another system correctly. And so what this means is that someone on your team is going to have to spend time to download and modify and upload and double check the data every single month for sales tax returns. Who has time for that? So if your business is really simple and the integrations work, then amazing, love to see it. You should totally use it. Most of the time it doesn't work out that way. And so we do a lot of the heavy lifting for our clients. Actually, we do all the heavy lifting for our clients when it comes to the data. Another big differentiator is tax settings. So you are responsible if you're using software for setting up, maintaining, overseeing your tax collection settings. One mistake there, and we see it all the time when we onboard clients because we're double checking everything with their setup when they come to us to try to find what problems exist. One mistake can cost you tens of thousands of dollars every single month because you're not collecting tax. And if you're using a tool like TaxJar, TaxJar is paying the tax that they calculate as being due. So if, if you only collected $1 in tax, but you owe 100,000, it's gonna pay that 100,000 and it's not going to notify you. It's not going to notify you and say, hey, maybe you should be like looking into this so that you can update it. At Tax Valet, we are doing routine, regular, periodic check-ins to see how much tax was collected, how much should have been collected. Is there a variance there that we need to dissect? and what is the cause of it so then we can troubleshoot it. The number of times we find issues that pop up because someone connected a plugin or an app that overwrote the tax settings or some intern did something, it's just, it's really crazy and no one would have caught it. 
right? And that's what makes it so dangerous. Another big differentiator between tax valet and software companies is the fact that we manage audits. So it's really a matter of when, not if you're going to be uh, undergoing a sales tax audit, but tax valet will handle every single step of that sales tax audit process for you, keep you and your team involved, pull in your CPA if we need to, and we'll be handling everything for you. The software, it's just going to be a you're just going to have to do it on your own. Like they do not want to help you. They do not want to be involved in an audit. They want to make it very clear that you are responsible for everything that is happening within their app. And I think the last big differentiator is Nexus reviews. So Nexus is just where your business owes sales tax. And some of the apps will have an economic nexus calculator to help you determine what states you've crossed economic nexus thresholds in. First of all, every single one of these apps, we've reviewed all of them, they are wrong. They are incorrect. They do not look at the right time periods because uh, some states want current prior calendar year, some want the last 12 total months, some want the last four co completed calendar quarters. And also what's included in the threshold is different state to state. Some states want total sales, other states want you to deduct uh, exempt sales, marketplace sales, resale sales, or some combination therein. And none of these apps take that into account. And not only that, they're not taking into account physical presence. And there's so much more to Nexus than just physical presence even, like online advertising or contractors or exhibiting at trade shows. I mean, th there's so many ways that your business can create a sales tax collection responsibility. None of these apps are looking at it, talking about it. And even if they do properly determine that you have Nexus, they're not helping you come up with a strategy for where you should get permits, what your start date should be, how you can clean up past due tax to minimize potential penalties. None of that's there. And that's where working with a partner who has that expertise is so, so valuable. So if you're on the fence thinking about if you, you know, should work with a sales tax service provider or a software company and you want to have a conversation to find out if maybe we're a good fit for you we'd love to chat with you learn more about your business make and to make sure that we're a good fit for you because there's a reason why we have almost all five stars i think we have one four star out of 100 reviews but there's a reason why we have so many positive reviews and it's because we only want to work with people that we know we are going to knock it out of the park with and if you want to learn more about Tax Valet and find out if that's you and if we'd be a great fit for each other, check us out. Our website is thetaxvalet.com. I'd love to learn more about you and uh, hope you have a great day. Come on, hey!